On this part of the tutorial, I will be explaining about materials for Radiant Pro and their plugin for Maya. For the materials, Ferner works with default Blin, Lambert, Funk materials, but I recommend using RPR Uber material for advanced adjustment. On Uber material, they are simple to use and they are not that hard to adjust. You may notice inside the attribute editor that the adjustment for refraction, subsurface, transparency, etc. are hidden. You can click on any of the check next to each adjustment to load the layer. So if you want to use refraction, click on enable on the refraction adjustment layer and then there will be parameters to adjust for refraction. For normals or bump map, create RPR normal node or RPR bump node and connect it with RPR uber material. After that, connect the texture to normal map node. For normal map, change the color space to raw. If you have high metalness, they focus on reflection color and not the diffuse color. So connect the diffuse texture inside the reflection color. Transparency channels in ProRender are inverted, so let me show you how to resolve this. When you connect transparency channel, they will become inverted, which is something you do not want. Between the file to D node and the Uber material, create an RPR arithmetic node and connect them as what I show here. After that, change the input as what I show here, and now you will get transparency correctly. I will now explain about subsurface. By clicking on subsurface on Uber material and switching backscattering weight to 1, you will get sub subsurface scattering easily. Right now the color is not matching the scattering color and the weight is too strong. First, change the subsurface radius to the same value. By setting to 1, you can get proper scattering color. By making the subsurface radius higher, the subsurface will be stronger, and if you make it lower, it will be weaker. I'll explain about the lighting on the next tutorial, but for subsurface adjustment, I would recommend setting up a sun lighting instead of environment lighting to see some difference. If you have subsurface texture, connect your texture on backscanner color and subsurface color. For the last part, Let's look at the emission. This is a part of lighting you can use to emit geometry and use them as lighting. This will be good use for things such as LED neon signs here or light bulbs. First, check on enable for emission from Uber material. By changing intensity, you can make the lighting more stronger or lower. You can also adjust emission weight lower to show some reflection, and they will become closer to photorealism. That will be all for this part of the tutorial. On the next part of the tutorial, we will be looking at the lighting.